This video is going to tell you and then show you how to get music and learning tracks from the Sounds of Aloha website and how to make an audio CD so you can play it in your car while driving around town and learn your music. Let me outline the steps, and then I'll walk you through each one of them. You go to the Chorus website, and in the upper right, you will see something that says Members Only. You click there and sign in. And when you get to the Members Only portion, you'll see a menu, one of which includes My Music. You go to My Music, and you will find that all the songs listed in various categories like current repertoire, uh, on the back burner, patriotic, etc. You find the first song that you're looking for and you'll find symbols on it for the music and for the learning tracks. You click the music symbol, then you print that music then you click the learning track symbol. You download your particular part learning track. Put it in a folder. And you can either play it right then and there, or you can burn a CD with several learning tracks that you will put in that particular folder. Now let's go back and go through each one of these steps. To begin, you open a browser. I prefer Google Chrome, but uh, you can pick the browser that you want. Internet Explorer or Firefox, but as I say, I prefer Google Chrome. Well, we get to Google Chrome and we want to open the Sounds of Aloha website. In my case, I go to Music, Sounds of Aloha, and then the sound of, Sounds of Aloha Chorus. I could just type in HTTPS colon slash slash soundsofaloha.org and I'd end up in the same place. When I get there, I look for and find members only. And when I click there, I get a place to log in. It has my name, first name, and last name separated by a dot, and it has a password. That is a password that I have assigned uh, after the first time that I signed in to this website. You will be given a password if you are new to the Sounds of Aloha. You will be given a password by email. And if you're not new to the Sounds of Aloha and you've lost the email that you got 10 years ago, uh, see someone on the board and they'll send you a new one. In my case, having my own password, I can log in. And when I do, I will find this menu of things that you can do and see if you are a member and have signed in to members only. The place that we want is My Music. Click there and you will be given a menu of the music that we have in the Sounds of Aloha website that has either uh, the music to be printed or learning tracks to be learned or both. The music in my music is separated by category. The first category is show repertoire from a past show. 
Then there's the, the patriotic songs like uh, God Bless America, Hawaii Ponui, etc. Then there is the regular repertoire. That's where it, what you're looking for will probably be. The first one that I'm going to select is Blue Skies. And I'm going to go to the, the place where the music files are. And when I get there, you will see that there is one music file called Blue Skies. And if I click that, it will bring up a PDF of the music. I can come to the upper right hand corner, click print. I can print it on two sides if I want or take that check out of there and it'll make it all on one side to papers. There are three sheets of paper. Oh, excuse me. In this particular case, there are five pages. I'm going to print it two sided, which ends up with three sheets of paper. You select your printer down here. I have mine already selected, my HP PhotoSmart 6520, and it should go to your default printer in your computer. When you're ready, you click print, and there is your music. Now you go back. I'm going to use the back button on my browser. You go back to the music that you were looking for, the, the music, the piece of music that you found. Uh, once again, we go down here to the regular repertoire, and we go back to Blue Skies, and this time we click the learning tracks, which brings us to the same place as before. You didn't really have to go back this far. You could have stopped here and gone down here. I'm a base, so I'm going to download. That's what that little symbol is right there. It means download. I'm going to download the track. And when I do that, I need to pick a place where I'm going to save this particular learning track. And here it is strictly up to you as to where you're going to save this. Kind of depends on how you save your barbershop stuff and how you think. In my particular case, I put it in my basic folder called Music. And under Music, I have a folder called Music for SOA. If I didn't have that, I could make a new folder by clicking here and calling it whatever I want to down here. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to delete that and go back up to Music for SOA. So when I double click Music for SOA, I can then pick a particular folder for this learning track and the other three that I'm going to put in there. I'm doing this on Thursday March uh, 22nd, 2018, and uh, my section leader has announced that we're going to be working on, I've got the world on a string, blue skies, tribute to world peace, and my ideal. So those are the four learning tracks that I'm going to download and put all in the same folder. And I'm going to call that folder under music for SOA. I'm going to call it May, oh excuse me, March 22 CD. Today is March 22nd. And so I'm going to go double click on that folder and now I'm going to save Blue Skies base left. And I can, if I want, play it right now by clicking here, or I can wait until I get all four saved in that folder and play them one at a time. That's what I'm going to do. 
So now I go back to my music and I look for the next one which is I've got the world on a string. Alphabetical. I've got the world on a string. I could print the music as I did before, but I'm just I'm going to actually show you getting the other learning tracks. So now here I am with I've got the world on a string. We have two sets of uh, of learning tracks. I'm going to pick this one. It brings me back to the last place where I saved this, my March 22nd CD, so I can click Save. And now I have the second one in there. I now go back, either using my back button on my, on my cursor, and I can go to regular repertoire, and the next one is uh, My Ideal, M's, L-M, My Ideal, there's the tracks, here is the bass, or I could click both of them, the bass and the full mix, to practice with the bass, with a bass singing behind me, or to practice with a full mix singing behind me. And I save that also in my March 22nd CD. I go back again for the last one, Tribute to World Peace, S T T T T Tribute to World Peace, the bass, save it there. And I now have my four songs in a folder in my computer. Now let's go to <clears throat> File Explorer in my computer, the one here that looks like a bunch of file folders, and open that, go to Music, go to Music for SOA, and go to March 22nd CD. And there are those four learning tracks that I have put in that folder. I can play any one of them just by double-clicking on it. And it'll bring up whatever your computer is set to play MP3 files. I can now get ready to burn all four of these onto a CD if I have in my computer a CD burner. I do in my laptop. Let me show you how you do that. I have been showing you and saying now we're going to open this or we're going to start that and I was going down here to my taskbar and clicking on the browser that I like, or down here to click on File Explorer, which I needed to use. Well, that's because I have the, all those programs that I use all the time, including uh, Camtasia, which is here, which uh, Camtasia Studio, which is what I'm recording this on. But if you don't have those particular programs saved down here in your taskbar, you can still get at them. You go over to your Start menu. We're going to in this particular case, we're going to go to a Windows uh, Media Player program called, gee gosh, guess what, Windows Media Player. And 
You do that by going over to your Start menu and coming down to the W's and clicking on Windows Media Player, which starts. And over here on the right, you'll see it says Burn. That's what we're going to use to burn a CD. First, we're going to have to drag items here to create a playlist, or in fact, a burn list. If we click burn first, we're going to drag items here to create a burn list. So, I'm going to go back to my uh, March 22nd. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to hold down the control key, which allows me to select the next one without dropping the first, etc., etc. When I get all four saved, I'm then going to drag those four over here, where it now says Add to Burn List. And when I let go, there we are. I can now put a CD in my CD burner. I can I can pick, select an audio CD as the thing that I want to do by coming over here. It says audio CD. If it says data CD, you want to change that. This is a data CD. You can't play a data CD in your uh, radio in your car, but you can play an audio CD in the radio in your car. So when you get that all done, you put the CD in your burner, you click Start Burn, and in uh, less than five minutes, you'll have yourself an audio CD, which you can play in any machine that will play an audio CD. And most radios in most cars have that now. And you can learn on the way to rehearsal. Have fun.